So this question is asking us about the concept of shielding. So when we talk about shielding, the meaning is just, you know, the same thing as the lexical meaning, which means to protect or shield something, you know, you, you, you're covering something. So the same thing also applies in the atomic level. And uh, in this case, we have uh, the shielding done by the, the electrons in the shell. So how do we describe this? If you remember the basic description of an atom, an atom has the nucleus containing proton and neutron. And like we know that the proton is positively charged and the neutron is uh, as a charge of zero. So the net charge on the on the nucleus is positive, right? So you have the nucleus that is positively charged. Draw this this way. You have a nucleus that is positively charged, and then you have shells of electron surrounding it. So let's assume that this particular atom has four shell, shell number one, two, and uh, three. So this innermost shell, one and two, they are called a core shell. One and two are called a core shell. And uh, shell number three is called a villain shell. So the core shell are the one uh, in between all the inner shell. And the uh, villain shell is the last shell. So what happened? The core shell shield the electron in the villain shell. And when we talk about shielding, it's shielding the effective nuclear charge, which is positive, from being experienced by the electron in the third shell. Likewise, the electrons in the first shell are shielding the electrons in the second shell. Okay? It's just like, um, uh, how do I describe this? How do I, how do I explain that? You have a, a hot, uh, you have a hot stone. The stone is very hot. And when something is hot, it radiates heat. So to prevent the heat from being radiated, you cover the stone with uh, a ceramic bowl of maybe a particular thickness and size and uh, to further prevent the heat from emanating maybe you feel now the ceramic bowl is getting warmer then you cover it with a bigger and thicker ceramic bowl so you are just preventing the heat from spreading so just exactly the same thing is happening here you have a nucleus with positive charge. So the positive charge is producing an effective nuclear charge whose function is just to attract the negatively charged electron in the shell to itself. So this first shell is shielding the electrons in the second shell from feeling the impact of this positive charge from the nucleus. And then the second shell and the first shell has shielding the electrons in the test shell from the impact of the positive charge from the nucleus. So the core electron basically shields more. It does the more shielding. And uh, mathematically, you can calculate the effective nuclear charge that is felt by an electron in a particular shell or orbiter using the screening constant. And uh, from experience, I think the screening constant for electron in the first shell is like 1.0. For that, from second shell, it's like uh, 
think it's like 0 0.5, 0 0.85, and so on and so forth. So you observe that as you as you go out further from the nucleus, the squaring constant is decreasing. And likewise, the same way, the effective nuclear charge also decreases with the distance you travel away from the nucleus. So the core shell should small. Core shell. Or the core electron, I would rather say. The core electron. The core electron. Core electron shields more. And do not forget, the core electron are contained in the core shell, and uh, valence electron are contained in the valence shell.